Hey Bex, today is Monday, uh, no, it's Monday, November 7th, and I was about to say that remembering the data is a lot easier now that my first job involves writing the date all day, but apparently it doesn't really help at all, I still mess it up. Today I'm going to talk a bit about the book Falling for Hamlet by Michelle Ray. Now, as you know, Hamlet is like one of my favorite things, as shown by my very tattered book of it and my DVD of it, although that overlaps with my David Tennant love. So being a fan of that already, I did like reading this and that you could see where it all came from. There were a lot of like direct scenes, like lifted and just modernized. I guess I should have explained sooner for anyone watching who doesn't already know, this is like a modern retelling of Hamlet but from the point of view of Ophelia. So, but anyways, a lot of scenes are lifted like very directly from the original. For instance, the to be or not to be speech becomes. Hamlet is like scrawling just to be and not to be on a piece of paper and Ophelia asks him about it. And he asks, is it better to suffer through life, to deal with all the crap thrown at you, or to fight against your problems by ending your life. To die is to sleep. That's all. And by sleeping, we escape everything that tortures us. That's the dream then, isn't it? The perfection of nothingness. In addition to that, there are a few, like, just real little references. Um, there's a band called the Poor Yorick's, which obviously is a reference to Alas Poor Yorick, which is the part that Nathan Explosion knows. There's reference to a song called How Like an Angel, which is in reference to the What a Piece of Work is a Man speech. I have a lot of little notes in here. I actually planned this one out, kinda. And there are even references to other Shakespeare works. For instance, the prologue to the play is this. If we shadows do offend, think but this, and all will mend. That you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear which, if I'm not mistaken, is from Midsummer Night's Dream. Now in this category of references to the original, there are only a couple of things I don't like. One is, during the play, there is, of course, a reference to the line where Hamlet asks his mom how she likes the play, and she answers, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. It is put down I think the lady is protesting too much. And granted, in this, like, the whole situation has changed so that, you know, it's actual, the queen is protesting that in that play. But in the original, at this point in the play, the player queen is saying that she will never marry again if, her, if something happens to her husband. And... The queen is saying that she's protesting too much and that she's making these vows so much. Um, I remember my high school English teacher said it as, you know, the queen is basically saying she's too sure of herself, which I think says a lot about the queen and how she's seeing things in this play. As for the concept itself, I do like it. I like the modernization of it. I like how they update the themes. I like how the characters are still true to the originals, like Polonius is always talking in like little proverbs and sayings and stuff, which is very much what it was in the original. So I do like the idea, and I think for the most part the execution was good. I'm still not sure how I feel about the idea of Ophelia actually like living through things and you know faking her own death and all that. But I think it worked in here. I enjoyed it. Um, a good chunk of my enjoyment was actually, though, sitting there with this next to me and doing, seeing how the scenes compared. Like, how the dialogue was actually updated. So I'm not sure if you, being not as big a Hamlet fan as me, would like this. But I enjoyed it. So, there you go. This is probably super long as it is, so I'm going to end there. I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.